All right, guys, we are at 187 Bear Paw. I would consider this cherry log area a uh, good place to be. Easy access, all paved. You kind of have, you actually got two little driveways, one right here and this parking pad here. Your gas is over there. And that actually leads to the garage. Okay, so you do have a garage and we'll, we will check that out. So older home, uh, built in 89. So it, it has a little 89 vibe in it, but it's a, it could be a great opportunity just cause it's a pretty good sized cabin. So you have this first little parking, this little landing area. They're keeping firewood here. You could do whatever I think. Yeah. You know, if you wanted to put a picnic table there, you could. Uh, deck boards. I mean, they have some age, but I don't like, I don't feel like anything's rotting, at least where I'm putting my feet. Uh, again, everything here looks okay. Say much. And here's the view. Everybody's seen the little lake. And there's a living room and you have another little area there. So now I can't tell on this window. The only negative I can say is I think maybe the, the gas seal is gone and creating the fogging, but it's also probably dirty too. So down the road, you may want to replace that just for a uh, aesthetic standpoint. It's not really impacting anything in terms of nothing leaking. So here we are into the main space. It's big, you know, in terms of where, what cabins are, this one feels big. Uh, so you can see, you got your view out there. You got a wood burning fireplace. Well, no, there's, I see gas there. So maybe if you wanted to do gas, you could. Plenty of room here to put the biggest TV you can buy. Kitchen, looks like all new appliances. It's actually a Corian countertop, okay? It is a solid surface. It's not a, uh, it's not granite, it's Corian, it's a synthetic product, but I like it. Now, you do have new washer dryers in the bathroom here, okay? Uh, looks in good shape. Again, it's, you know, it's just built in 1989, but it doesn't look, you know, it doesn't look like it's been beat up. The house has been repainted and looks like they put new carpet in a lot of the home, in a lot of the house. But for the most part, the walls are fresh. Again, furniture does not stay. This house is coming empty minus the appliances, okay? All this furniture belongs to the stager, okay, to the photographer. But decent sized room. If you wanted to put a king in here, you can. Uh, not a problem. That is a king there. Fits in here, no problem. Again, the bathroom, I told you guys, fiberglass tub, just a standard tub, nothing fancy. Big living space here. I will bet this is gonna be the only piece of furniture that stays is this big thing because probably nobody wants to move it and that looks like it's made out of really solid <laughs> material. Uh, let's go upstairs to the loft. Okay, and again, look, I just, I want to be fair to everybody. You know, you're going to have scratches on the stairwells. It's 30 years old. You know, if you want to come up in here and sand it and smooth it out, you can. But to me, that's part of a cabin. Here's the loft area. Okay. There's a little fan. You could put, you know, all these little nooks and, you know, if you got little kids, they're going to want to run around in these little cubby holes. But you could put... I mean, you could put three twin beds up here very easily. Uh, you could put a full, you could put a queen and a queen and a twin. I mean, let me step back a little bit. It, it's a big space. I mean, no doubt about it. You could put three beds up here, three twins easily. And then the bathroom associated with it. Old school, you got linoleum here. Uh, but it's not the end of the world. Well, fixtures here, these look new. I mean, these look brand new. So, not a bad little spot. Let's go down to the basement. I'll be honest with you, on this floor, the only thing I don't like is this crow's foot ceiling. 
if you could eventually figure out a way to just do the smooth, that would definitely modernize it significantly. Uh, again, I believe we got fresh paint on the walls, fresh carpet down here. Um, room number one, it's big. You could put a king bed down here. You could put two sets of bunks easily. Uh, plenty of plenty of room to put two sets of bunks. There's not a ceiling fan here, so two sets of bunks would probably be, um, you know, preferred. That way you don't have to worry about a bunk bed hitting a ceiling fan. And this one actually does look out to the to the lake. Here is another, I don't know what you want to call this. If you want to call this a bedroom, but it it has the, the access to outside. So let's go through this and check it out. So I don't know if I would make that a bedroom. I would make that maybe a hangout area, a game room where people could come in and out. Uh, I would put, obviously, hot tub here. They've got this little screened in deal. There's not a door. They've got it screened in. They probably wanted to do a screened in hot tub area at one point in time. And maybe it was, I see a square right here. So maybe, maybe there was a hot tub here at one point, but you got your hose bib there. You got power there. So you would get a small hot tub in here. Well, you get a medium hot tub in there. And if you wanted to put this screen, uh, door this in, and put the screen then during the summer you could kind of keep some bugs off of you a little hangout area a little fire pit uh, you know do whatever you want there but again you do have your neighbor here and you got a neighbor above you as well so let's see and here's that we kind of talked about this with some people these landscaping timbers are just about shot so you're eventually going to want to replace that and here comes somebody with a well all right truck with the exhaust get out of here but anyway a nice place we'll go back through and i'll show you the garage as well so kind of give you an idea <clears throat> oh there's this little shed there if you wanted to use, if you wanted to personally put your kayaks or some stuff like that. If you wanted to put your own personal stuff in there, you could. So yeah, I would turn this room and keep in mind, it, it's a little, it feels a little unfinished. There's no trim. You got this old school paneling up here. It's not the end of the world. Um, but if you wanted to come in here and put shuffleboard and a couple arcades, I think that's what you would do put, you know, maybe some sort of rubber mat or something where people are coming in from the, from the hot tub or whatnot. But I would turn this into a little gaming room, uh, a cheap gaming room, shuffleboard along this, an arcade over there and an arcade over there. This would be cool. Hang up some movie posters, maybe put a small TV on the wall. Um, would be a cool place for the kids. Again, you'd have the bunks there. And then the last room, and I have the garage door open, is the garage. So, it's it's a quasi finished unfinished garage space so you got all your mechanicals here hot water heater furnace furnace looks way newer than the, the furnace is newer than the home so it's on a second furnace uh, which is nice to see that would not be original but you move all this stuff out now granted you have this in the ceiling can you always leave that exposed uh yeah i think so you know if you wanted to put a pool table down here or something you could easily do that then there is a finished bathroom in the garage, okay? It's got a shower, throne. This is kind of semi-finished. This needs a little beautification here, but fully functional. And kind of show you where it is. So this takes you to the back, the lake's back there. This goes up to the side of the home and here's that second driveway that you guys were seeing. So you can come in here. Now there's a little bit of a step. I, you know, putting a car in here, driving one around and getting it in and out would be a, a task if you're not used to it. So I definitely wouldn't use it for parking for clients. But if you could put some, something cool in here, ping pong table maybe, you know, just, just something, take advantage of it. And 
that's it. I will leave you with a shot of the living room as we come up through the stairs. So, honest opinion, it is exactly what it says it is. I don't believe it's hiding anything. It's just part of an estate sale. Again, none of this furniture goes. It's coming empty minus the appliances. Uh, you know, it's a 30-year-old cabin. Feels like a 30-year-old cabin. No surprises. It's big. A lot of space. A lot of opportunity here. Add a little island here. Uh, nice appliances. Nice countertop. I think this could be a great opportunity for somebody.